Hey, Lance, how are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm well, thank you. Good, good. Uh, so I watched the uh, first couple episodes and I thought it was really great so far. Thank you. Appreciate yeah. it. Thanks for watching. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, so I guess just real quick, can you tell me about uh, who, who your character is, who you play? And and I'm kind of eager to know where he goes uh, by the end of the season. Well, um, I, I, I would describe Charles Flinnery as the, the, the a hard blue collar, hardworking everyday man, uh, you know, a throwback, if you will. He is a, a musician and also a, a God fearing man uh, and just one who's there to love and provide for his family and his community as best he can. Um, did you guys did you guys film this like when everybody we were all in lockdown? Yeah, we, we started filming in January. Uh, oh, wow. Yeah, we started filming in January. We went from January to May. And uh, yeah, we were all in like COVID, you know, protocols and getting tested three days a week. How, so how uh, like acting wise, I'm an actor too. So acting wise, like how did that affect you like uh, performing and, and uh, you know, and, uh, and working with your other actors? You know, it's, it, you know, it presents a challenge. You know what I mean? The reality of it is, is like for me, fortunately, uh, I've worked enough and in, in, in under different strenuous conditions and unfavorable conditions that you just kind of no, you know, you got to suck it up essentially, basically. Cause I mean, let's be honest, Lance, nobody gives a fuck. You know what I'm saying? Like they want the result. They want to see, they don't care how you get there. Oh, you know, it's this, it's that. And the other thing is yeah, I have to, you have to be honest in the fact that being fortunate to be working at that time, while we were under COVID, while we were under lockdown or whatever, what have you. So there aren't too many complaints as from my standpoint, because I've been unemployed and I know how it is to not work. And so you just come with a sense of purpose and a sense of duty of like, hey, this is my job. I have to do it. You got to suck it up and let's get to work. Uh, uh, we talked back in 2018, uh, the good old days of 2018. Yes. Um, and uh, I, and I honestly try to catch most of uh, everything you do. And one thing I've noticed uh, watching you uh, is uh, when you walk into a room or, or whatever you're doing, you just like command like the whole scene. Mm -hmm. um, and I, I feel like it's because, and you kind of talked about this when last time we talked, but you are so like detailed in your preparation. Yes. Well, you know, there's that whole thing of that you learn, you learn these things going along. It's like for everything starts with like silence, right? It's like, you know, the, the, the man, when you learn, when you're younger, people who walk in the room, people don't pay attention to the guy who comes in, you know, yelling and screaming. They pay attention to the guy who, who didn't say much. And that's the first person everybody looks at. Who's the guy who's not saying anything? <laughs> And those are the people that people want to know. So as an actor, you take on these, um, you absorb these life lessons, if you will. Right. And um, and so and the thing is, it's because the father, he doesn't have much in the as far as his contribution to their world in his totality. Right. So it's really about him being a father. It's about his presence in their life. So I have to really uh, latch on to Charles's presence. And see, the, the other thing is when you when, when you look at to try to command the presence in the outset, well, you what we'll see later on is you you begin to lose it. And so you have to have somewhere to go. Do you, do you know what I mean? Absolutely. So if you, you got to start somewhere to end somewhere. So, if, again, when you see these aspects of a man being diminished. And those, those qualities diminish slowly, whether it be because of lack of money, whether it be because of lack of opportunity or whatever, the character has to have some place to go. So he starts at this place and then we'll see his, his uh, authority diminished slowly. Nice. Well, I can't see I can't wait to see where it goes. I think I got you for like another 30 seconds. But Absolutely. Um, uh, any chance uh, you might do any theater anytime soon? Probably not. To be uh, honest with you, I mean, I, I want to I want to get back to the theater. I mean, we're looking at at least two to three, four years before, you know, what I mean, because, you know, we're, we're another year before theater even gets going. I mean, it's starting back up now and rehearsals and whatnot. And then, you know, now I have the younger kids and the family. So it's hard to, like, break away the same because the thing is about theater. You know, once you get in it, you can't leave. Right. So at least with film and television, it's like, oh, I'm not working for the next few days. I can fly back home or, you know, those kind of things with theater. You're in there. You're in there. 
And uh, now I understand why a lot of the older actors stopped doing you know, <laughs> theater after a while. You know, I get it now. Yeah, so. yeah. Um, well, hey, thanks for taking the time to talk to me. I think you're great, and I can't wait to talk to you again. I appreciate it, Lance. Thank you so much. Thanks yeah. for the support, brother. Take thanks. it easy. Thanks. All right, see you.